So at tier 95, you get technically the first Mastercraft reactive camo in Cold War. You get the Vulture Exo. So the Vulture Exo came in Season 2 Battle Pass at tier 95, like I just said. First reactive camo. This is base 3. This is 6. This is 9. And this is 12. 12 obviously is my favorite. The Fowler 83 is the new assault rifle in season two. I was so happy that they actually added reactive camels because I love them back in Black Ops 4. I didn't have too many of them, but now I pretty much have most of them <laughs> in Cold War. But you could use this in Warzone. You can use this in Zombies. As you see, it's multiplayer kills. Zombies, 50, 100, 150, 200, same thing. That seems to be how all of the blueprint stages are for each gun. So finally, I get to use it. I'm a pretty big fan of the of the Fowler 83. I use it only a few times. What I get it up to? I got up to level 30, so I use it a quite a bit, but I still got a long way to go. But I'm not, I don't really want to focus on any of these guns to getting DM Ultra or Diamond or Gold or any of them, because I'm trying to get them on the base weapon, so I unlock DM Ultra, and then I do the other ones right after but let's take a look at this gun and the attachments you got this at tier 95 i got this with about two weeks left of the battle pass so the barrel is the 19.5 liberator optic is the hawksmore stock is the kgb skeletal stock under barrel is the foregrip and magazine is a spetsnaz 50 round mag so far for all the ones that we've gotten in this season it would probably be top three for me i would say the side scroll would be my favorite reactive camo and then then the yeah okay side scroller number one then the z74u and then it would be between the pharah and the rose reactive i would probably go i'd probably actually go rose reactive i would go with the xoxo love lost and then it would be the pharah so it's actually top four so definitely so ooh, ooh, it's in the top five top four i'm pretty sure this gun is ground loot in warzone 2 i picked it up a couple times and if i'm correct it is ground loot and i, I like it i like it in warzone all of the all of the stickers are just covered you can't even see them on this blueprint let's check this blueprint out with the mastery camos gold diamond low key diamond goes really cool with like that wavy line on the mag it's just blacked out and dm ultra so dm ultra doesn't really cover much of the gun yeah golden viper play diamonds is the same thing as diamond and dark ether oh shit we actually have one more tier and then we get to level 100 and then we get the lc10's blueprint which is if it was reactive camo it might be it would be on par with the fire 83 but anyway let's jump into a game see how this is we'll head into warzone after this and see what it's like i'm like 95 percent sure this is just regular just a ground loot in cold war in, in warzone it's man metallic -y inside in the dark let's do an outside weapon inspecto okay so it's just regular green and black this is base. Let's get some kills with it. Oh. That was just... The only guy I killed there was someone who wasn't playing. Hello there. Hello there. All right. First stage. So it's like... Ow! Hold on. There's... So many people. Yo, he just did that to me. All right, so the first stage, it's kind of... It's green, but like it's shocking. Like, it keeps having, like, these little... It's like vibrant green shocks that are, like, vibrating throughout the gun. I like it. That's stage one. Got one. Got you. Okay, so this is, uh... This is now the second one. So now you got a lot going on here, but it's staying with that green theme. Wow. A lot of moving parts here. So it's, like, shocking with the green. Now it's got a little bit of, like, that bluish tint. I like this. I like this stage. Little white, like, dots moving throughout the gun. I like this. So far, I'm really liking this. What? As I was trying to say, so far, I'm really liking this blueprint. Got you. About to get the final stage. Yep, here it is. So now the final stage, the final stage of this changes the entire gun. So now it's got this, like, yellow and orange tint instead of green. It's got a little couple of green accents, like the handle's still green. It's like a little green tint behind everything, but now it's it's changed with like red, yellow, and orange. Oh my god. It, it looks like a, a little bit of lava. And that's the third stage. You can see more of the green in the light. Yeah, I really like that. I've ranted about this so many times. I really wish that they would add reactive camos and master crafts into like, into more prestige, uh... Into the prestige stop. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't focus there. I wish they would add more of these to the prestige shop. I wish they would add more of these into the battle pass too. Like this was a tier 95 one. We could probably, it'd be cool if like every 30 tiers, it was a reactive camel for a gun. I mean, that would be really cool. I wonder for all these reactive camels, if they're gonna ever, not that I'm complaining, but if they're ever gonna change like the, uh, the progression. 
in the different stages, like how to get them. Like for all these guns so far, the progression has been get this many kills and then it, it goes up. It's not even like get this many kills in one life. It's just get this many kills and then it goes up. Get this many kills and it goes up. Like in Black Ops 4, it was like get this many long shots in the game and it will go up. And then it would be like get this many double kills in the game. It will go to this one instead. So like it was constantly different challenges rather than just killing. Obviously, some are harder than others, but I would like to see that. I would like to, I really like to see that. Different challenges for different things. Like snipers make it some crazy, yeah, like a, what are you doing? Get a no scope, and every, every no scope it goes up, like some crazy shit like that. Like I said before though, this is the first one that they actually added into Cold War. And then right after this came out, I think like a week after season two, we got the Dead Ops Arcade one, then we got the AK-74 one, and they just been constantly coming now. Ooh. Ooh. It's only a matter of time before pretty much every gun in Cold War has a reactive camo version of it. And I love it. Got you. Damn, this this fuck this blueprint's good. Got you. Thank you for the help. <laughs> oh, I stuck somebody! Oh my god, teammate, you could have warned me. Oh what's up? What's up? Bro, I am loving this blueprint. Wow. This blueprint smacks. Bro! Usually I would build this gun to have more speed, but literally the only thing increased on this is the firepower and the ammo and everything else. Like the accuracy stays the accuracy stays the same and the speed actually suffers a little bit, but this gun is still really good. What's up? What's up? Oh man, there's just so many people. Uh huh. Come on. So many people are just blinded by this reactive camo. That's why I'm doing. That's why I'm doing well right now. So many people are going for the Z, <laughs> the new sniper rifle. There's so many people using snipers. I just realized that. What's up? Oh, damn! I just got two kills. Didn't even realize it. They still haven't fixed the. <laughs> I just noticed that they still haven't fixed the Farah. When you kill somebody on the feed, the gun is facing the wrong way. They still haven't fixed that. Like, notice how all the guns are facing the way they kill. But with the Pharah, if I could ever get a kill now, it's facing me now. It's facing the wrong way. I thought they would, they would patch that immediately. But maybe they don't know, or maybe it's actually meant to be like that. Ah, who knows? Defeat! Alright, now we're in war zone. Gonna hop in the plunder. It's not reacting right now. Usually I thought it does react, but maybe I, I might be crazy. We're not gonna have a chance to view the base one, because I'm going in hot. So here we go. We're just gonna view it right now. I like it. The green is more defined than in Warzone, I feel. Once we once we drop in, we're going we're just gonna be hell. Oh my god, is this one team? Bro! Alright, I gotta kill. It's not doing anything. Ooh. This looks like... I, don't, I can't tell if this is the first or second stage. Let's put some stopping power rounds on this bitch. Ah. Yeah, this is the last stage. Whew! Damn! There's like a little bit of purple in this. It's like got a little like flowy mush to it too. It's like, wow, what is that? Damn, it's a lot more defined than this. There's purple, purple lightning, purple shocks. <laughs> well, that's how it looks in Warzone. It performs really well. Anyway, that is the Farah 83 from the Battle Pass. Again, you get it at tier 95, the Vulture XO. First reactive camo in Cold War, but I finally got it now. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you all on the next one. Let me know what you think of this gun. Peace.